Alright, so good morning everyone. Welcome back to another day of Fargo's Soul Mod. Today is a very special day. As you can see in the title, this episode marks the 50th episode of the Pain Saga. Now, 50 episodes, it really is a lot. Over the four and a half years of doing Chippy's Couch, we have only hit the 50th episode, I think maybe three or four times, but really in the grand scale of it, it's, it's quite rare. So I want to dedicate today's episode to you lot, to the Couch Gang, for supporting this series. This series has been one of the most popular series we have ever done, and that's all thanks to you lot. Seriously, thank you so much. 50 episodes is a lot. Look, if this was a Netflix series, tomorrow we'd be starting up season 6. That is wild. <laughs> but the cool thing is, if we actually make it to episode 60, this will be the longest series on Chippy's Couch. And what I love about that is even though it will be the longest, it's completely flown by. I feel like because the episodes have been coming out way more frequently than any other Let's Play, it's gone by really quick, 50 episodes. Here we are. So, what are we doing for episode number 50? Well, I think I deserve a break, so um, so we're not going to be doing anything today, is what I would love to say. No, we're, we're cracking on with the Champion Saga, and the next one we're going to do is the Champion of Nature, which is done in the Underground Snow Biome. Now, just for people that have been asking me, why did I skip this one? Why did I, like, crack on down here? Truthfully, it's because I couldn't be bothered to make an arena, all right? <laughs> I'll level with all of you. All the ones we've done so far have required zero work other than, you know, learning AI, which is work, but it's not building an arena. I don't like building arenas, all right? <laughs> I'll be real with you. Um, so what we're going to do is make a couple of city busters today. Uh, is that enough? I think that's enough. I think we only need two of them for the next two bosses. And then the last one is is Fort in the Sky, which sounds great. Uh, yeah, let's make, um, let's make a city buster. Um, here it is. This thing right here. This thing is so scary, all right? I'm so paranoid that I will be that chap that throws one randomly and destroy the whole base. It would make for a fantastic title, for sure. But I don't want to do that. But yeah, today is... What is it today? Oh, it's Wednesday. Tell you what, I will be streaming tonight. I'll leave a link in the comments. But I'm going to be streaming The Binding of Isaac multiplayer with Anti Darkheart. That's Kelsey from the Terraria uh, streams we've been doing on Chippy Gaming. So, hey, if you like Binding of Isaac, please come and watch me live. Um, last night was the Nintendo Direct. What a Direct, alright? I saw a lot of you say it was disappointing. I agree. It was kind of a rubbish direct. I'm not gonna lie. But The Legend of Zelda, for very obvious reasons, saved the direct for me. I am excited for a new Wario win. I am begrudgingly excited for a new Mario Party as well. I'm really gutted that it's a, a rehash of the N64 games. I really wish it was like, here's a new game and the N64 maps. Like, that game's gonna launch for like 50 quid. What? <laughs> Nintendo, come on. Um, but obviously, The Legend of Zelda was amazing. If you didn't see, I actually made a breakdown of the trailer on Chippy Gaming. Um, which is, you know, it's different for me. I am, um, you know, primarily a Terraria YouTuber. But when I'm passionate about something, it doesn't matter if I'm a Terraria YouTuber. I have to talk about it. And that was just one of those things I have to talk about. There is our arena. We are, <laughs> we, well, we might struggle with this because of the fact that um, that we just destroyed so much of the background. Hopefully it still counts. I think it will. I think we're just going to have to spawn it in in the background and we'll all be good. Uh, that being said, actually, I don't have the, um, the platforms required. Or I guess I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> we got a lot of uh, ice block. All right, let's, let's do it. But yeah, Nintendo Direct yesterday gets a big thumbs up from me for that Breath of the Wild uh, 2 trailer. Very good indeed. It was quite funny, right? Because whenever I watch um, an E3 conference, me and Senex always uh, chat all the way through them. But usually, I have a, like, a little bit of a delay. I imagine it's because of like where it's streamed from. But usually, I'm like... I'm usually a good, like, 10, 15 seconds behind. So, I kind of get 
Senex's reactions first before mine. But yesterday, I was the one that was ahead. And, uh, yeah, it was really funny because um, I knew, obviously, she really wanted this Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. Because, obviously, I do as well. And there was one moment where I was like, oh, my God, it's happening, right? So, obviously, she gets that message first, like, 10 seconds before... But the reveal actually was uh, the little, like, Game & Watch thing that he pulled out of his pocket. I cried at that, because I thought, oh my god, we're going to get this Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. And then he's like, here's a little Game & Watch with some old Zelda games on it. I, I Honestly, I laughed so hard, it hurt. <laughs> but they actually did give the trailer afterwards, but yeah, that's my fun little story about E3. So that is pretty, for me, that's E3 wrapped up. Not a bad little year, especially considering last year was so weird. Um, I'll take it. I'll take it. Right, um, let's give this a go. I have no idea what this boss fight is, but all I know is I'm going to use a sword. Oh, I tell you what. What is that? Oh my god, it's like the Hydra. It's like a Hydra dragon. Um, let me turn on minimal effects here. I know I'm kind of doing this late. It does mean that a sword is now shrunk because I haven't changed the effects. You know what? Honestly, I almost want to restart already because I feel really bad. So it seems like... I mean, we've got AI to learn. Whoa! Wow. Okay, so we need to figure out where the dead zone is for that. We need to figure out where we need to be. I presume it's probably... You either have to anticipate where those lasers are going to be initially and guide them in the right area. Or it's going to be a case of, okay, stay at the body during this point. And if you stay at the body, you're going to have a good time. Okay. We do have a lot to learn, as always. But I'm excited for a new challenge. Uh, let me turn on these two. Just so we have the effects of the Terror Force. And then we get into it. We just start to, start to learn. It's a little bit strange because for the past couple of episodes, we've been, you know, fighting ones that we've already checked out. This is the first new one in a little while. Okay, let's let's go back down to here again. Let's spawn it in. The champion of nature. And it's a dragoon. Okay, uh, so yeah, ultimately I, I don't know what's going down. I'm gonna have to learn. I can see that it's firing out like a ice barrage of stuff. And you can see one of the serpents has uh you know a, a head that spirals. This one, I think, I'm not really too sure how this is gonna go. Oh, okay, right. So you stay in the circle, and then as it loops round, you fly upwards. I almost feel like this one will be a bit, um, Champion of Timber. See, that one was a lot different. That was not quite what I was expecting. It almost seemed like, and I don't know if it was, like, the next phase of its attack, but it was almost like it enraged. It might have enraged, ultimately. I'm not too sure. Um, hey, look at that. A robot hat. It's the series of the robot hat. Right, let's let's try it again. Let's see what we can learn. So for this one, I'm gonna move around a bit more. I know that this is like clearly not the best way to go. I should be like looking out for attacks and stuff. But when you're just learning, this seems natural. I, I will say, damage-wise, I feel like we're doing a really nice, consistent amount of damage. Now I imagine that it's gonna have different phases. Of course, they always do. Right. So this time we're flying upwards. Yeah, there we go. But the only thing is, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm being a moron. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm like flustered already. The only thing with this is we do have to learn every single time when that laser phase comes in. So it's obviously when the dragon roars. Okay, roars. Oh, no. <laughs> Great. Great. Um, The arena probably needs to be altered. Honestly, I think we can all agree with that. Okay. Um... Hmm. I know I keep swapping, but I kind of want to see Summoner for this one so I can learn uh, some of the AI. So let me bang that on. Let me do this for a little bit um, and go back. This arena is bad. I, I tell you what, it's, it's awful in a lot of ways. One, because we're not using the special boots. We are susceptible to, uh, to ice. So that's not great. Also, it's just not very large. It's kind of like... I'm assuming this one needs to be fought more horizontally than vertically. But we can make adjustments. Alright, let's try it again. So let's see what we can learn. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff that's going by. I almost 
careful of these. I learned that in the last fight. I didn't really pick up on it, but yeah. It's almost like, all right, you've got to keep circling to avoid some attacks. Okay, right. I heard the roar, and I assumed it was um, the lasers. So I'm guessing it's a slightly different roar. Yeah, there it is. Right, and then fly upwards, and you avoid it. Okay. So we're already starting to learn. Okay, that one was different. <laughs> So I think there's some phases where some of the heads shoot lasers and then another phase where they all shoot lasers. I guess. Obviously damage wise we're not doing as good in this one. Makes sense. Alright, lasers and then fly upwards. So I'm learning that. That to me seems like the hardest one to, to start to manage. This is almost like they've gone A. Do you know what? will make Turkle the Ungrateful a big giant dragon. Now, if you do not know who Turkle the Ungrateful is, you're doing yourself a favor, all right? I used to meme and pretend I love him, but I, I, I do not really. He's kind of awful. But I think that's probably why I love him, all right? Maybe, maybe I actually do still love him. <laughs> I think I've made that very clear right now. So I just want to try and survive as, as honestly just long as possible. Just trying to learn, like, whatever it is I need to learn. And then what we'll do is, just like um, the Champion of Will yesterday, we'll come in with the sword again and start to think about, you know, actually dealing some real damage. There are little bits I do need to be more cautious of. I'm afraid to leave this um, ring for obvious reasons. All right, we did a bad job of that. I'm afraid to leave that ring for obvious reasons, but sometimes those little, um, you know, the, the clouds, they spawn quite high up. Okay. I almost want to jump into using a, a damaging sword again. Uh, so I'm going to give that a quick go. So I will say, this is probably another fight where it's all about being slow and uh, and keeping concentration. I want to see what um, like the next phase is all about. Because right now, it kind of seems like you can circle the fight. I mean, you're... You know, you, it's it's a risky game. It's, it's almost like if you can tank it. I don't get how this uh, laser phase works, if I'm being completely honest. Because you can see there, we just got the second of the, the twisty lasers. But in a previous fight, we had it where just three of them were just randomly shooting out lasers. So I don't know what I need to look out for just yet. It's all a learning process. It's quite nice though, because I'm kind of going into this, almost treating it like um, I have done some of the, the more recent bosses. Okay, this was a bad idea. So what I did was I came down here to try and tank damage because I assumed the laser phase was coming up. And there we go. There's the laser phase. So I'm curious at what point it's probably going to heal and then go, all right, new phase. That might have been it. Look, the I think that, well, it hasn't healed, obviously. But I think this might be the next phase because these uh, necks are getting pretty long, all right? This is almost reaching giraffe territory. Um... I've got no idea. I almost feel safer here, genuinely. All right. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we're, we're cracking on with that. Um, honestly, I'm just kind of moving about at this point. That's that's more what it feels like. I don't know if it's coming across like I'm putting much thought into my movement. And I, I'm bringing this up to say, if it looks like that, I'm not. <laughs> As you can see, my health isn't great, though, now. Uh, I've just got to be so careful because I really don't want to... I really don't want to be in the wrong spot for the lasers. I think that's the part that'll mess me up the most. All right, there we go. Another successful laser phase. 15 seconds left on a health potion. And we do have the eye core effect on us, which is surprising. I'm I kind of assumed one of our accessories by now would probably negate eye core, but apparently not. <laughs> okay, we still got a while left on, well, we just took our health potion. So we got to kind of make this last because if this is the fight, we do not have much longer. All right. Here we go. Laser phase. All right. Will it heal at the end of this? What do you think? No. There we go. It's done. All right. That one was honestly not so bad. Um, I think out of all of them, I was probably... I think you could argue Champion of Terror is the easiest, but I would almost say that that one is easier. It might be the builds that we have because we're using like a lot of Betsy's dash... I was using my, uh, you know, my solar dash as well. Yeah, that one, yeah, all right, okay. 
Well, <laughs> admittedly, when it spawned in, and I was doing it in this really awful arena down here, I kind of thought we were in for a bit of um, a bit of a rough episode today. I was like, I'm definitely going to have to change this. So once again, all of these will be farmed out, you know, at some point in the future, uh, so that we have all of them. Uh, right, let's dump all that in there. Okay, so the next one, we need to make another uh, city buster. The next one is going to be underground uh, desert. Which is going to be, it's going to be quite interesting because of the fact that we have a base in the, in the desert. And I'm so paranoid that we're going to destroy it. Because it really does seem like the kind of thing I would do. Alright, let's descend downwards. Let me double check, how big is this little box? Alright, that's not too bad. I'm going to do it right here. Alright, I'm committed to it. Bam. Oh no, <laughs> please stop rolling. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Is the house intact? The house is intact. That's right. Okay, let me quickly um, smooth this uh, arena out. This is going to be good. Right. So, the arena is now complete, and we're going to be doing the champion of spirit. Now, I imagine it might be a little bit like a desert spirit, right? I am expecting uh, desert spirit attacks. I am expecting tornadoes. Maybe some teleportation as well. Uh, but genuinely, I, I don't know what this boss looks like. So, it's going to be a complete surprise. How exciting. Let's begin. The champion of spirit. Oh man, look at you. So what are you? You are kind of like a Skeletron. Alright, there's the tornadoes. Alright, we all knew that was coming. So it has two large hands. Now, can I touch? Oh, okay. He's feisty. He likes to grab. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's get out of that. All right. So, I was going to say, can I touch the hands or can I touch the, the black void between the arms? And I think the answer is very obviously no. Okay. Right. <laughs> this one seems clearly harder than the one we just fought. Very exciting. Very exciting. All right. Um, we might not be using the right weapon for this. Weirdly... I don't know about you, but didn't it seem like we weren't doing that much damage? Let's try... Let's try uh, this bad boy and and a damaging buff. Alright, let's 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 try again. Because damage is legitimately, for obvious reasons, uh, super important. Okay, so we've got to be careful because it has the arms that want to grab. Oh god, the arms are awful. Alright, get me out of there. No, get, come on. What? Oh, no. We were healing it as it grabbed us. So I wonder if the pocket mirror... Do you remember a while ago we made the pocket mirror accessory? I wonder if that plays into it. Uh, let me turn all of these on. This is going to be way... Right. Hear me out. Are these smaller? Is that what's going on? They are, right? Our little minions are smaller. Oh, it's so strange. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, let's go back. All right. Let's try it again. Bam. Okay, let's give it a go. Once again, it's going to be a process of learning. Look, here's the thing. If this one is all about grabbing arms and dodging tornadoes, then I don't worry too much about having all the effects on. I'll just be honest. God, those arms are so grabby. They really are. Like, they're feisty arms. And he's got four of them. Okay, all right, watch out. All right, the damage feels good now. Damage feels good. Obviously, our health isn't doing great. So, I'm going to just try and treat this fight for now. Nah, I'm... I think having all the effects on might actually be damaging. Because you could see me getting hit by, like, the bones and such. That's not great. Get out. <laughs> it's good because when you, like... When you get out of his grasp, he does want to give you a little... A cheeky slap afterwards. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you dash out and then his other arm's like, nah, I got you. <laughs> right. Uh, minimal again. Minimal again. Oh, I'm quite liking this one. Even though we're like clearly awful in it. <laughs> like quite clearly, this is a hard fight. But I'm, I am liking it. I am. Right. Let's try again. Bam. Okay. Right. Oh, do you know what? The damage is better. Maybe it's just that it wasn't aiming very well. So we do need to we do need to be careful because quite clearly those um those bones, those illegal bones that it's throwing down at us. 
they actually do a good bit of damage. So we don't get hit by those. It also spawns in... I um, can't remember the, the sword now. Excaliburs. Yeah, we did really bad at that one. So are we getting hit by the like spirit flame uh, projectiles? Is that what it was? Once again, need to be slow and calculated about this one. Uh, let's go. I'm spawning it down here, by the way, because I'm scared that if I don't do it underground enough, it won't spawn. Okay, tornadoes. That's a given. I really do hate that tornado attack, by the way. Do you know when you're doing the regular ones? They're so awful. Oh, let me out. <laughs> Look, the other hand. That's what I'm saying. It, it has a second grab. <laughs> it's awful. Okay. I think be slower with the Excaliburs, weirdly. Okay, so it's gone on to this phase where the spirit lamps and the hands fly out. Hmm. We just need to get the... We need to get the movement right for that one. Such a cheeky little boss. <laughs> like, I wasn't expecting it. It's a little goof. I quite... Honestly, I really do quite like it. Uh, let's try... We've done this a million times, but let's try Summoner for a minute. And see if we can learn a little bit about AI. Can we teleport to our death spot twice? Oh, we can. I like that. Right, let's give it a go. So, lots of minions. Begin. Target. Awesome. Okay. Right, let's just let it do its thing. Let's not get hit by tornadoes. Let's not get hit by uh, illegal bones. I wonder which way you go to avoid these hands. I'm going to try circling the hands. So going into the, the arms, basically. And we're going to go slower with this as well. Okay, so this is spirit flame and arms. It almost seems like the spirit flames are exactly where we, we were. So I think if we maybe travel around slower, that'll be better. I do think another thing about this fight is keeping it in the center is going to be important because if we have to stay in that ring, yeah, that's going to be pretty crucial. All right, so it's back to Excaliburs. Okay, this phase is the spirit flame phase with the arms that seem to just kind of track your movement. And then it's back to uh, skulls, sorry, bones. And then tornadoes again. So we want to avoid those. And then it goes back to uh, grabby arms. So I'm going to try circle those. And it seems like it's got a new attack. Unless they're from us. I've got no idea. I don't think they are, actually. Right, more arms are coming out. Okay, this is the spirit flame phase. So I'm just going to mooch about um, as much as possible. And then it's bones. So back to bones. So we don't want to hit the floor. Back to tornadoes. I'm, I'm reciting this, by the way, so that I can learn it. Just to be clear. So these are kind of like uh, ectoplasm attacks, aren't they? Or, sorry, spectre attacks. There are so many things in Terraria. I've just got to admit it to myself. I really can't name a lot of the attacks. Just kind of off the top of my head. I have to, like... I've had to start thinking about it. Like, me not knowing what the Excalibur was immediately is, is strange. Because I know at one point, you know, in 1.2 or 1.1, I would have known that in a, in a split second. But there are so many things in Terraria... And I play a lot of modded, so it kind of kind of makes sense. All right, what's after this phase? It's Excaliburs and hands. I'm struggling with those hands, to be honest. All right, slow down on this one, because this one actually isn't uh, as bad as I, I first thought. Okay, now it's back to back to bones. Oh, we got sniped by a tornado. So I feel like, um, honestly, Summoner might be the way to go for me. I wonder if I could do a damaging buff fight on that fight. I will say, I do think a good part of my last fight was was actually um, pretty fluky. I think I fluked a lot of those um, shooting hand ones. Do you know where they shoot the hands in a circle? I feel like, yeah, I got pretty lucky with that. All right, what's next? Is it Excaliburs? Yep, Excaliburs. In before, these are not even called like Excaliburs. I was just talking about it. Yeah, this phase, I need to to stop taking damage on. Because that one really isn't bad. All right, then it's back to back to bones. And then I've also got to make sure I don't get sniped by tornadoes. I've got to kind of say to myself, all right, bones and tornadoes. Oh, yeah, they added a, a spectre attack to this one, didn't they? Okay. All right, Scalibers. We know that one. And hands. 
that one's interesting because you want to move fast to avoid the, the hands. But you've also got to be careful because of the uh, Excaliburs. Okay, back to Bones and Tornadoes. There you go. Said it to myself. I really do love talking my way through these bosses. I've come to really appreciate that in this series. And it's not something I, I usually care too much for. But I think it's helping me actually remember a lot of the, the patterns. So, like, just there, that was really bad. All right, it's different now. It's hands and bones, and then it's going to be tornadoes, right? So I just got to be careful I don't get sniped again, because that's how we died on the last one. Oh, that was bad. Honestly, for me, that was a pretty bad attempt. Uh, I'm really good, because I think we, we might have just lost this one. Not unless I can pick up some of this health. I don't know if any of that health is real. <laughs> okay, right, that was bad. Do you remember me talking about me fluking through some of the attacks? I fluked that so bad. All right, these are actually real hearts. Why isn't Heart Reach picking these up? That's what I want to know. Okay, keep calm. Keep calm. What's next? Uh, Excaliburs and hands, right? Oh, no, it's this one. Okay. Definitely don't die to this one now that we've mastered it. All right. So he's invincible now. So obviously there's a lot going on. So I think once he once he goes invincible at the end of the fight, we need to um to stay high in the air. I almost wonder if if we'd have just made it through that last little bit, we would have won. But I wonder how long he's invincible for. Is it going to be for a full phase, like he does every single one of his attacks? And then you get to do the killing blow? But yeah, why isn't I have heart reach, right? Um Or do I not? Oh, Okay, so, regen, wrath, and rage, tank, endurance, life force, fawns, regen, danger sense, spelunk, what? Do I not? That would make a lot of sense in all honesty. Let me quickly go grab uh, heart reach. I don't know which one heart reach come under. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. I really hope that we can add that on, uh, if not. All right, let me, let me speak to this woman here. All right, let me, Alice. Sell me a bunch of heart reach, all right? Sell me 40. That's more than I needed. Um, yeah, wow, that's really strange. I didn't realize that heart reach wasn't in any of those combinations. Oh my god. What a game changer. Oh, look at that. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Okay, all right, good. That will help out a little bit during the fight. All right, let me get back to the same point. No. Oh my... <laughs> Champion of spirit, you cheat. I did not go into your hand. Oh my god. <laughs> you absolute troll. You absolute troll. I did not touch that hand. Alright, maybe I did. <laughs> but who can blame me? Such a beautiful boss. Um, oh, I was so close. <laughs> I was so close. I was doing so well as well. I'm so proud of myself. I had to give him a little slap five. Alright, maybe he deserves it. Maybe he deserves it. <laughs> that did crack me up a little bit, though. Oh, my God. Sorry for being loud, by the way. Since I was in complete silence and concentration, I could not help myself. Um, I like how these Excaliburs, by the way, stick around. I, I think that's kind of neat. Uh, right. Back to Tornadoes. So I'm going to try put them all in this corner. And then when he extends his hands out, I will decline the offer. Uh... Oh, God. Now I'm doing really awful. All right, let's just keep it going. Excaliburs and hands. Still bad at this phase. Don't worry about it. Complete fluke. All right. We want to avoid this as much as possible. This really is one of those phases where it's like, all right, you, you need to not take damage on that. That's not fair. <laughs> for, fair for me, basically. All right. Um. So I don't know how, once again. Oh, there you go. Not gonna lie, that invincibility phase at the end is kind of pointless. I feel like they should just get rid of that. It kind of makes it weirdly anticlimactic. I don't know. What do you lot think? Well, there we go. Uh, another champion defeated. Hollow enchantment, tiki enchantment. That's right. We're getting there. We are getting there. So, 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 the final champion will do for the first time tomorrow. I, I, I say will do for the first time, because I don't exactly know if we'll beat it. Our track record is, is looking good, but knowing me, I don't want to jinx it. 
But yeah, um, final champion tomorrow. But then after that, once that's defeated, we do have a good bit of grinding uh, all of these out. But then it's the abomination. Very, very cool. Right, so I'm going to wrap it up there. Hopefully that was a long enough episode. I think it was. Um, trouble is today, I've got really bad allergies. So I'm going to go in the, and chill out for the rest of the day because I've got my stream later. So um, yeah, you'll find the link to the stream down below. I think I'm probably just going to do it on, on Twitch. Right, shout out to our channel members as always. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all uh, tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>